Chapter Eleven of Poison Romance and Poison Mysteries by Charles John Samuel Thompson. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter Eleven: The Case of Doctor Lamson. The only case on record in which the active principle of aconite has been used for the purpose of criminal poisoning is that of Dr. Lamson, who suffered the extreme penalty of the law for administering the drug to Percy Malcolm John, and thereby causing his death. The story is remarkable for the cold-blooded way in which the murder was carried out. George Henry Lamson, a surgeon, in impecunious circumstances, had a reversionary interest through his wife in a sum of fifteen hundred pounds, which would come to him on the death of his brother-in-law, Percy Malcolm John. The latter, a sickly youth of eighteen years of age, was paralyzed in his lower limbs from old-standing spinal disease on november twenty seventh eighteen eighty one lamson purchased two grains of aconitine and shortly afterwards went down to the school where the lad had been placed as a boarder and had an interview with him in the presence of the headmaster professing at the same time a kindly interest in the lad and his health during the interview he produced some gelatine capsules one of which he filled with a white powder presumed to be sugar and directly after seeing his brother-in-law swallow it, he took his departure. Within a quarter of an hour, John became unwell, saying he felt the same as when Lamson had given him a quinine pill on a former occasion. Violent vomiting soon set in, and he became unable to swallow. This was rapidly followed by delirium, and in three hours and three quarters, death ensued suspicion fell on lamson and he was arrested shortly afterwards and charged with the murder of john according to evidence at the trial it is probable that lamson had made several previous attempts on the lad's life with aconitine in the form of pills and powders which he had given him under the pretence of prescribing for his ailments the money to which he was entitled on the death of john doubtless supplied the motive for the crime the proof of the purchase of aconitine by the prisoner and the evidence of the post-mortem examination pointed to the cause of death and the presence of aconitine was amply proved by the clinical and other tests patiently and carefully applied by the analyst the difficulty of proving the presence of a rare vegetable alkaloid in the body after death was no doubt duly considered by lamson when he fixed on aconitine as the medium for his evil design but science proved the master of the criminal and the evidence of the instrument by which the crime was committed was indisputably proved End of chapter eleven